I'm Jackie Pickering with Ion Sports Network here with Rick Krzyzewski, the National Sales Manager of Whale Tails Tortilla Chips. Rick, you, thank you so much for joining us. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about your product? Yeah, Whale Tails Tortilla Chips was basically born out of a day of surfing and trying to figure out what we were going to do to give back to the playground that we use every day for our sports. Mm -hmm. Uh, surfing a big uh, part of my heart. I'm a big surfer as well. Um, now, what was your passion in bringing this nutritional lifestyle to, you know, extreme sports and people alike? Yeah, well, what we decided was we looked at kind of what was out there and we thought, okay, how do we give back without being controversial? Mm -hmm. Something that everybody enjoys, something everybody does, other than just surfing, is basically eating, mm -hmm. nutrition. So we looked around and we found an organic, a kosher, non-GMO tortilla chip plant, and they were just making basic triangles, circles, and ovals. Mm -hmm. So we said, is, how about if we take this thing and we shape it to the international symbol of ocean conservation, which every, seems like every ocean conservation group uses is a whale tail. Mm -hmm. Well, besides being the fact that it was shaped like that, it was also better for dipping than just by natural design. It just worked out. Um. Now, what was your inspiration into creating something like this? Was there a product that inspired you? or? Yeah, well, what we got, we looked at uh, things like uh, Ben and & Jerry's, mm -hmm. and we also looked at Newman's. We saw what they were doing. Mm -hmm. We said, well, we could basically do that same thing with a tortilla chip, not knowing what was all involved. You know, we had no food background at all. But we just had the passion that we knew if we did it right, we packaged it right, and we put it in the hands of like-minded people, that we could possibly get out there and create some good. In our first year, after only being on the shelf for about six months, we uh, funded the water quality surveys for the whales in Magdalena Bay. And uh, there's a group down there called uh, Baykeeper, and it's uh, run by Julio Solis. Wow, that's a great turnout for your first year. Now, what's the response that you've noticed from the public, the general public? The public has been great. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, what they do is they, they kind of look at the concept and they say, so basically all I'm doing is just buying a bag of chips and I'm helping out ocean conservation. And uh, once they get that, they go, man, this is great. And then they taste it. And what we did is we seasoned it with a lime, Hawaiian sea salt. It's a gourmet sea salt. And when we were surfing on the North Shore back in the 70s, we noticed they used that for koala corn and also um, for their uh, barbecued corn. So it's got a unique gourmet flavor. <laughs> And finally, where do you see this product as far as longevity? What's your ambition as far as um, getting this to where you want it to be? Well, right now, I think what we're looking for is just the, what's called economy of scale. And once you get into producing, mass producing, and you get mass distribution, then that 10% becomes extremely large. And with that 10%, we can actually really make a difference. Wow. Well, thanks so much for taking the time with us, and keep relying on ION.